Welcome to Leatherwood. My bag is filled to the top with all the stuff that I'm gonna need on way. Kashir Parchi Tali Pet Berit. Oh, and it's right now a 12 kilometer trek to Lidarwat and we're gonna camp there for the night and then head to Tarsar and Marsar Lakes. This is the last village that will come our way and after that it's just meadows and stuff and I like this crow right here. An hour's trek from Ardu and this is my first stop here and I'm running out of breath. The rest of the group is ahead like 20 meters ahead of me but I'm trying very hard to keep up this is my first trek in Kashmir after like four or five years the last one was back in 2013 and Kashmir's mountains are very very different to trek on and I think it's about to rain so I have to get up we have an emergency now the horse carrying some of our woods slipped stuff fell. What I want to show you more importantly is this. The temperatures are negative and it's going to be freezing cold in the night. Set again and now we can resume. I have given my bag to another companion ahead. You know what's the best part about trekking in autumn? It is right there. So many colors. I love it. Whenever you trek, just follow the horses because they're going to be leading to the easiest and the shortest path to your distance. Now, if horse is stopping from a, for a break, oh, I must too. Let me sit down for a while. Okay, he's got his breath back and he's on the move again. So I'm going to have to quick it up and follow the horses. The first tea break on our way to Leatherwood. I made that hot. And perfect time to introduce my fellow travellers. This is Umar Bhai, Hussein, and this is Muzammil, Riyaz Saab, Samone, and Mehrdad. Rahim Papa something. Papa Ram Rahim. Papa Ram Rahim. Oh my, oh my. Oh, thank you, thank you. Still have a long way to reach Leatherwatt and Snowfall has already started, but I hope we'll be able to, we'll be able to make it before evening and camp there. And I'm witnessing a snowfall after seven years, and that's a lot. I love it! Gushing rivers, valleys, leaves changing color, and some trekkers on way to Leatherwood. What better can possibly happen today? Okay, that's chirping of birds too. Icing on the cake. Oh my Kashmir, I love you. My fellow traveler. He's from Iran. Hundreds of thousands of birds. And now it's time for a break while someone eh, 
meditates right in the snowfall and we take a small break because you can't walk in this the visibility is extremely low wind is blowing sheer ice like Aga Shahid Ali says we can't move forward in this <laughs> yeah snow we have snow actually is there any Persian couplet poetry that you can say for it uh, for barf barf yes barf خدا سرد دمش کرد زمستون خدا سرد دو دو نات پاپیش دیست دیست زمستون خدا سرد دمش کرد زمین و پرز برف کرد دمش کرد This means a lot The snowfall is a bit lighter now and it is possible to trek a bit more so let's take advantage of this time that we have and make it to Litherwatt before evening. Two more hours to Litherwatt and it's getting cold, very cold. The temperature currently here, right now where I am, is minus three degrees Celsius. I would let the rest of my companions go a bit ahead. Until then I'm going to show you this. This is built by shepherds who come here in summers. To graze their animals so this is where they live this is where they cook and they have some firewood here already and this is what protects them from rain and right now all the shepherds have gone downhill and they're gonna come back in the spring when the grass is back and more lush green and the temperatures a bit more tolerable in Kashmiri we call it a doka a doka here it is. Oh, how beautiful. An important purpose of a trek is appreciating the nature as you go along. And just look at this. Oh my God. I'm telling you, it's heaven. And my Persian friends are singing. They can't stop singing. They tell me that mountains are very spiritual and they want to get their emotions out by singing and telling poetry. The sky has cleared up a bit and I'm expecting very, very good starry sky in the night. That's what I love the most about mountains. Yes. Can't wait. You know, the thing that come, you, you gain them easily, it's not valuable. <laughs> this photo now is very valuable for me because... Tried like four times. Tried, yes. <laughs> for a simple thing, actually. We're almost in Lidr, but just have to cross that one bridge and there is our base camp waiting for us. We always tell them, whenever you get down from a steep slope, a slippery slope, walk sideways. Narrow bridges, I love them. River Lidr, a tributary of River Lidr. The water is not so gushing because it's almost winter and glaciers have already melted in summer. And now is the time your favorite footsteps. almost evening and we have finally made it to Litherwatt and I can't believe they have a hut hair made of wood too actually and uh, how they get the material hair how they construct it it's beyond my understanding 12 kilometers trek from Pelgam and you have something here but we're gonna live in a tent and I hope we have a really good evening This is the view that we're going to get when we wake up in the morning. So heavenly. And imagine looking at the stars in this sky. How beautiful. It's worth a billion dollars. Even more. 
Finally at Lidderwat. Cup of tea. I deserve every single sip of it. Bishbir. That is the mountain we crossed. Two mountains after that is Pahalgaon. Two mountains after this is Dral. There is the Tarsar and Marsar lakes. We're gonna go there tomorrow. And right here is the Kolahoi peak. <sighs> Our tent for the night, our view for the morning. Heavenly. My hands are freezing, usually my hands are very warm all the time. If my hands are cold, it means the temperatures have dipped below zero. If you're staying in the mountains for the night, Muzambil Bhai, what is the most important thing that we're going to get today? We need in the night. Yeah, you can't live without it. You're gonna need it for the fire, you're gonna need it for the warmth. So let's get some wood. Oh, Umar Bhai is carrying an axe with a big, big, big log of wood. Thank you, Umar Bhai. Moonrise, the holy act of cutting wood, done by the holy man himself. These little bits are going to help us in starting the fire. Very, very important. Jacket does give you warmth. But if it's not going to help you collect wood, it's of no use. That's my bit. And that's what other people got. I got the small ones. Everything matters. What's important about traveling is your companions. I did not have a cap, so the Persian friends, one of them took out a cap. Someone else took out a cap from her bag and gave it to me. They're already singing. This is lovely. My ears are warm now, and it's gonna be more fun watching the stars. Still starting. And I'm feeling the warmth as well as the smoke. The fire is lit, literally. My shoes are out so that they dry, and my feet are out too so that they dry as well. And then I have another pair of socks in my pocket. I'm gonna wear this one because the cold is unbearable, and I need warm feet. Tomato soup. Persian music, biting cold weather, and you're beside the fire. Nothing can get better than that. Happy feet! <laughs> And they tell me that Iran has a similar staple food and that is white rice. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you guys. Kashmir and Iran comes together. <laughs> food can... And this is the amazing Riyaz song. Yes. Our chef, our guide and everything. <laughs> Okay, my mother had sent this lassi so that we'll have it after dinner and it was really really good and the person who liked it the most is Merdad here. Yes. Merdad, tell me, did you like it? Yeah, very much. It was one of the best lassis, Duk actually, which I have ever had. Thank you. Duk is lassi in Persian. <laughs> exactly. Duk. <laughs> Can you imagine being in Lidderwat and having halva <laughs> after dinner top the dry fruits? And it already smells like heaven. Everything. Yeah. Very nice.
perfect. It looks like actually. Granules. What do you have to say about it? This is amazing. This is just amazing. What is what do you say in Persian when something is perfect? Ali, خیلی خوب. بی نظیر معرکه. حرف نداره. توپ یک حرف نداره شماره دو نداره مشتیه The sleeping bag was full. Absolutely lovely morning. We have started our trek this morning. A very bright sunshine has greeted us. We have started our trek to Tarsa and Marsa lakes, two very beautiful lakes on top of one mountain, on top of one mountain behind this one. And the first break. I'm running out of breath. I hope I can do this. <coughs> it's a five hour long trek. And weather can change anytime. All the companions have to go rest right now. So I'm not very really worried about myself. Karachi and Sari got a dry shoes, man. Never. Shoes are dry wash. Ha 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 ha.